Hey parents, I'm really excited to be able to present an upcoming schedule change uh, to you for the coming school year, for the 2021 and 2022 school year. My name is Travis Julian, and if we've never met, uh, I am currently a secondary history teacher here at Vice. Next year, I will be taking on the role as pre-K through 12th grade principal. Uh, I'm really excited to be able to step into this role and um, be a part of shaping and molding what BICE is going to look like in the future. I think there's some really exciting times coming and some really great opportunities for BICE to grow. This schedule change uh, came about as a result of many of our teachers beginning to talk about how can we better serve your children, our students. And as we began talking, uh, an idea began to form. What if we uh, built in times where we could intentionally uh, either tutor or really work with students who were struggling? What would that look like? And so out of that um, was born kind of this new schedule, which if you look, uh, is going to start with a period zero. Uh, so the original schedule started with a first period, um, and here we are going to be starting with a, what we're calling right now, a zero period. Essentially what we've done is we've moved the extended day period uh, to the beginning of the day. A few advantages of that, first of all, our middle school students no longer will have to take their foreign language classes in the afternoon. Uh, they can do it first thing in the morning. Uh, the second advantage is we're able to build in some tutoring time and reassessment time at the end of the day. Teachers no longer have to take time out of their classes or lunch necessarily in order to reassess uh, some of the assessments. Uh, and uh, they have time now to work with small groups or individuals who are maybe struggling with certain skills or contents. Uh, one of the other things we've realized from COVID is that a 7.45 start time for our secondary students is really hard. And so um, this new schedule allows us to officially start school at 8.34. Now you'll note the zero period does start at 7.45, um, but these, again, this is kind of our extended day where we'll have a lot of our optional uh, classes uh, at the beginning of the day. Um, in order to accommodate this later start time and the tutoring time, uh, we had to change class times to 45 minutes. Um, but one of the things we're able to do also is that rather than having this weird like every other Wednesday late start, we're going to do a late start every Wednesday. So you no longer have to think about, is it late start this Wednesday? Uh, was it last Wednesday? When did we do late start right? Um, every Wednesday will be late start. And essentially what that looks like is uh, we just removed uh, the zero period from the schedule and gave our staff time to collaborate and to do some professional learning time uh, in the morning. Uh, we hope that this makes the schedule a little bit easier for families and parents uh, as well as our students. Um, you'll notice here that uh, originally, with the late start, our classes were cut short down to 40 minutes. Um, again, one of the things that's really nice with the schedule is our the new schedule is that classes will stay exactly the same. So we'll have 45 minute classes um, following the same exact schedule uh, that we did we do on non late start days. Obviously, again, minus the zero period. As far as how this affects elementary students, um, what we were able to do is consolidate and really streamline the elementary schedule. And we're really excited about the flexibility that this is going to give elementary teachers. Originally, if you look here on the left, uh, the blue arrows are pointing to the times that different teachers were teaching. Um, there's kind of a big block here, specials and language, and then kind of a 50 minute block, lunch, lower elementary went to language, upper elementary had class time, very short, then upper elementary went to specials, lower elementary had class time, and then kind of a block here. And so lots of transitions, 
lots of breaks in the schedule. And the new schedule, uh, the way we've reworked it is we are able to give elementary teachers two uh, large instructional blocks. Um, the first one here in the morning, 143 minutes. The second one in the afternoon, 133. Um, in between those blocks, then, we are able to offer uh, specials in language and lunch. Uh, and we really believe that this is going to help um, our elementary teachers be able to meet the needs of our elementary students. Um, originally, uh, upper elementary had about 239 minutes of instructional time. Lower elementary had about 254 minutes. Uh, with the new schedule, both upper and lower elementary teachers will have about 276 minutes of instructional time. Now, you may be wondering, where did all that extra time come from? Well, part of it was minimizing the amount of transitions. You can see her on the left side with the original schedule. Uh, our elementary students were having six, seven transitions a day. With the new schedule, we're able to cut that down to five. Not only that, but only one transition will affect the actual instructional teaching time. Uh, the first transition here to break, and then this fifth transition back into the classroom. And so we're able to minimize the amount of time that, it, that teachers need to take to pack up their stuff, line up, leave the classroom, go to their next uh, let's say specials class, come back in, get started, 35 minutes later, right? They're packing up again to go to lunch. We've eliminated a lot of that transition time and given teachers more time uh, with their students. So a few uh, questions you may be wondering. Uh, what if I'm coming from Bandung and I have kids in elementary school, right? Elementary school starts at 745 but my children in secondary school don't start till 8.34. We're aware of this, right? Uh, we're aware that um, of this possible conflict, and we're in the process of creating policies and procedures for this situation. Um, as of right now, what we're trying to figure out is how to create a location for secondary students um, to be able to go to and basically have uh, some dedicated study time in the morning. Uh, similar to what we've had with this COVID season, students were able to work in the morning before school. And so if students are coming, if secondary students are coming, choosing to come earlier, um, at 7.45, we're trying to find a way to accommodate that and give them time to, to work uh, on homework or things for the upcoming day. Um, you elementary parents, you're probably wondering, what is this elementary block going to look like, right? 143 minutes of instructional time? That's too long. They can't sit there for that long. Uh, yes, we agree with you. And so uh, one of the beauties of these blocks of time is that our elementary teachers have the flexibility to break up the learning uh, as they see needed or as appropriate. Um, one of the things we hope uh, teachers will be able to do more of is go outside. Right before, it was, it was hard to go outside because you had to come back in, get your stuff, go to the next thing. Uh, now with these big blocks of time, there should be some natural places for teachers to be able to take breaks or even take their classes out on uh, maybe field trips around the campus. Um, one of the other benefits of the extended time is teachers will have more time to now individually help students. Um, there'll be more time for community activities um, in the morning getting to know each other, bonding closer together as a class. And so uh, we're really excited about the flexibility that this gives us, uh, not only to meet the needs of, of your children, but also um, to really allow them to not feel like they have to go from one thing to the next thing to the next thing, um, but to be able to, for teachers to be able to spend more time on something, less time um, if students have already mastered it, and really pour into students as is needed and appropriate. Um, I mentioned above, elementary school does start at 745. I think I forgot to say that when I was doing the elementary schedule. Um, on late starts, however, elementary will start at the same time as secondary at 834 AM. Um, so that will be the one difference in the schedule for elementary is every day at 745, except for Wednesdays, they will come to school at 834. 
Uh, as far as our accreditation goes, we're required to meet what's called the Carnegie Hour. And so if you're wondering, do we still meet the Carnegie Hour with the 45-minute class periods in the secondary? Uh, the answer is yes. 45-minute uh, classes times 180 school days is about 8,100 minutes. In other words, about 135 hours of instructional time. In order to meet the Carnegie uh, Hour, uh, we need to have 120 hours of instructional time. So we do meet that. Uh, Carnegie credit hour for accreditation. Finally, um, half days. Uh, one of the things I'm really excited about this is the schedule is that half days no longer take away from our extended period classes. Uh, in the past, every time we had a half day, there would be no extended day period um, classes. And so uh, what we've done is half days will look like this. We will still have the zero period at 745. Uh, and then we'll run periods one through four. And then on the next half day, we will have the zero period again and run periods five through eight. Uh, for the elementary, you can see here, um, they will, their, the first half day will look pretty similar schedule um, with an extra block here of instructional time replacing lunch. Um, and then the second uh, block schedule um, Sorry, the second half day is a little bit different just because of the specials period coming right here at the beginning of the day. Um, so it's a little bit more broken up, but uh, again, ending with a nice little block here at the end of the day um, for them. Please feel free to uh, contact us if you have any questions or concerns. Uh, we take your feedback very seriously. Uh, and we're excited about the possibilities that this schedule is uh, going to allow for us as we continue to try to improve uh, what education looks like here at VICE. Have a great day.